Hi, here we are in Hall 2 of the ISE 2011 with more than 30,000 attendees streaming through the doors this year. I'm sitting here with my guest, who is Jeff Hastings, the CEO of BrightSign, all the way from California. And thank you for joining us, Jeff. Thank you. And Jeff, you're one of the leaders in digital signage. Digital signage is extremely important to the ISE and you know, is something that the show is actively trying to, to become the center of here in Europe. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're offering here at the ISE, what your message is to the integrators? Oh, thanks. Um, so BrightSign, we're, we're focused on the digital signage area and, and a lot of people look at digital signage and use it as a very broad term. You know, what we do is we build the controllers, the actual players that take the media from the internet or from any other content system and display it. And our prime focus has been on the, the integrators and being able to supply them with a product that's very easy to use. Our core product is a full HD player. Um, we've built it um, on a lot of technology that is extremely low cost, so we have a price point in the market that's much lower than pretty much everyone else, and especially as you compare it to a PC, which is the prime alternative for a lot of the digital sign applications. Um, so here at ISE this year, um, we're introducing what we call our, our TD1012, which is an integrated tabletop display that basically is battery operated. So a lot of retail shops, they don't have power in the middle of their store, but they would love to have a digital signage application. So this is an all-in-one unit that has battery operated. It plays for 12 to 16 hours per day. Nice high definition content in a portrait mode orientation. And it really allows our, um, our integrators to take this device, give their customers something that they can place in the shop pretty much anywhere play high definition content, and remotely do the content updates through a Wi-Fi connection. It's Wi-Fi connected, so it's very easy to put it on a network anywhere in a retail shop, and all of a sudden have it pulling content from a local server, caching the content locally, or pulling it from anywhere in the world. You, you mentioned the, the cost, Jeff, and that's obviously one of the driving forces because there's a lot more companies that should be engaged in digital signage that aren't there. The cost you know, either encourages them or discourages them according yes. to the, the price points and that. But what are some of the challenges that you find uh, in growing your market at, at the integrator level? What are some of the things that you wish integrators did more of? Some of the things that you feel would help the industry as a whole go forward? So, so I think for the integrators, you know, the hard thing for them is that there's such a large collection of devices, both on the player side, on the monitor side, and on the software side. You know, so what we've been doing is actually working with a lot of our integrators to actually kind of bring them up to speed on how to integrate the technology, you know, what kind of monitors to use, and pieces of equipment like that to bring together the full solution. So one of the things that we do is we offer design services. So when folks have a proposal, what we can do is have them send over kind of a sketch of what they want to do, and then we'll help them pick the best pieces of equipment that they carry or that they work with to actually come up with an ideal solution. And with our platform, you can program it at the simplest level or you can go to the deepest level of programming to really get fully customizable solutions where you've hooked into lighting control systems or switches or LEDs or pretty much everything you could imagine um, in a digital sign application or creating a virtual environment in, in retail or other kind of demonstration environments. One of the things that we find interesting is we have a lot of integrators that come to us and say, gee, can you find me, help me find some business in the next country or the next region? Yes. And at the same time, when we visit them, we go into the local stores and local hotels and we find out they don't have digital signage in the places that they should have. Exactly. Uh, so one of the things that, uh, you know, is I think a very important discussion with digital signage is how vertical, you know, do you have to be in terms of the marketing? I mean, obviously the box can cover a lot of different solutions, but in terms of, of the integrators, do you think that they have to, to do more to verticalize the marketing front end of that? How important is that? Well, well, the, the, one of the key differentiators but that we've seen between integrators that are successful and integrators that aren't so successful is really not only on the hardware side and pulling together the, the, the physical solution, which, you know, here at ISE, a lot of people are really focused on the physical solution. What hardware do I use? Which monitors do I use? Which players? Yeah. That's a good part of the solution, and without yeah. that, you'll never have a successful solution. But what is really differentiates the very successful installations and, and um, 
you know, deployments, and the ones that are just so-so is really on content. So what we found is the successful integrators, what they do is they find very good content partners that can produce and update the content on a frequent basis. Um, and those kind of deployments really, really make things go well. In fact, one of our uh, larger deployments in Europe is with FNAC in France. Right. Um, they have over 2,000 of our signs installed, and they have a very, very world-class content organization, and they update the content sometimes on a daily basis. And what happens in that installation is people feel like it's a very much a live installation, and it keeps people, when they walk into the store, it's very fresh. It's like, oh, it's, it's not something that I saw last week. It's fresh content, so people look at the signs, and it and it does basically what the, the uh, installation was um, you know, intended to do, which is get interest and drive business. To get interest and drive business, and there we have from Reed Hastings, CEO of BrightSign, the ultimate you know, success in digital signage is that content that you're able to add to the equation of integration. Thank you very much okay. for joining us. Thank you.